Hey everybody, welcome to Mom Plays. I am Mom and this is Fallout 4. Hello. We are at the Malden Center because apparently somewhere around here is one of Nick's tapes and we need that. Someone's now, coming. You must die. Must I? I mean, I guess I must. What in the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I thought there were two of them here. One standing right behind the other. Um, I should probably put my armor back on, which I hadn't thought of yet. Um, <laughs> so let's do that. All right. No, I did not bother to even try. Oh, there goes that super mutant suicider over there. So apparently there is a... Police station here? Yes! And we need to get one of the Eddie Winter tapes from here, I guess? Um, except... Not exactly sure where. Handcuffs, that's wonderful. Let's go upstairs. And look through here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, let me through. Oh, God, I hate this roof. Blast radius, I'm good, I'm good. Bathroom. Technical document? Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Okay, aha! A terminal that's working over here. Yes, the Eddie Winter holotape. Okay, let's see if it tells us about the last place on here. Otherwise, we're going to end up going back to places we've been. Uh, Malden and Nahant. We've been to both of those. I could swear we have two tapes left to get, but this might be the last one. No, we have one more to get. Robin Cooper. You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. <laughs> no worries. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish a fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. As for what happens next, up to you. Beach, sub shop, car yard, doesn't matter where he ends up, I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So, long as Johnny Sr. never finds out what happened to his little meatball, we're set. Eddie Winter, signing off. Okay. So that leaves us in a little bit of a conundrum because as far as I know, we have visited all the other places that are listed that the tapes are at. Um, so I'm, this is going to be sucky. But, um, okay, so basically, Holotape Zero is at the bad TFL. We know that. Um, Holotape 1 is given to us by Nick to start the quest. We are at the Malden Center. We got the one at the, uh, Quincy Police Station. Um, we were at the Natick Police Department and got that one. Uh, we've been to the Nahant Sheriff's Department and gotten that one. Uh, we've been to... The East Boston Police Station, the South Boston Police Station, the Coast Guard Cure, uh, Pier, and Police Precinct 8. And my best bets are either the East or the South Boston Police Department, so we're going to go ahead and check those out first. I This irritates the crud out of me, because I'm pretty sure we've gotten these, but um, you know what? Wait, East... Yeah, because the East Boston Police Station is this one right by the Mechanist Lair, which I'm pretty sure we did two episodes ago. We grabbed it. But we will go back just in case. Which sucks, because that means we're going to go through about 500 loading screens just to freaking figure out where we didn't get the tape from.
All right, so yeah, so this is the East Boston one. We did this one a couple of times ago. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Um, and it is not there. And the South Boston is right here next to Gwinnett Brewery. I am positive we went inside this one. I say positive and then watch. <laughs> it's going to be the one we didn't go into. I'm wondering if it might not actually be the Coast Guard Pier one because I had so many problems with taping that. I'm just wondering if I like, I, I don't know. We might end, we might go back there just to check because no, I know we picked it up. Ugh, so annoying. Um, yeah, pretty sure we were in here because this is where there's attack dogs in here. Yeah, I mean, I already got whatever out of there. Didn't check there, though. Ugh. Stupid thing. Okay. Um, nothing's acting like it's alive in here, which makes me think, yeah, see, we've already been in here. Because this is the one where the tape was right here. Oh, God. Shmam it. Okay. Um... Wow. Uh, let's go back over to Coast Guard Pier. <sighs> Maybe for some reason I messed that up. Then we'll go over to Natick. Make sure I got that one. Uh, how annoying is this? Um, okay. So Coast Guard Pier is right here. And there shouldn't be anybody here, so, I mean, in the places that we're going, there shouldn't be anybody here, because we've cleared them out. It is up here. Yeah, that tape is usually sitting here. So we've got that one. Okay, how about right on over to Natick Bank? There we go. Yeah, we're going to hop through all of these, and I'm going to feel really, really, really stupid when we find this, this stupid holotape. All I want is the holotape so we can get on with Eddie Winter and get rid of Nick. So I can pick McCready up. <laughs> Wow, it literally put us right outside the police department. Wonderful. This one is down here somewhere. Um, is it here? Yeah, in the evidence locker here. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we already cleared that. And that tape is definitely not there. So we've gotten this one. Son of a... You know what? Um, okay. Um... Wow, I am so confused. Is it just that we haven't listened to one of the tapes? Let's, oops, let's find out if that's it. Let's see what we got here. All right, tape zero, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, we don't have tape six. Well, this says that tape six is at the East Boston Police Station. And it's not. Uh-oh. We might not be able to finish Nick's affinity quest. 
this is not good, people. This is not good. I know we picked up this tape. I know we listened to it, and it's saying it's not in my inventory. Yay. Yay, Fallout. Not very happy about this right now, because literally we were just there. But this website is saying tape six is the one that's here. <sighs> Jump. Thank you. Yeah. I, I swear the tape is supposed to be right there. Oh, boy. Um, what the hell? Okay, now I feel just stupid. Let's listen to that damn last tape now that we have it. <sighs> Message to Charlotte Wen. My dear Miss Wen, I hope you're well. After our little joint venture this past May, you should be. If memory serves correctly, that pallet of buff out earned you a small fortune and Wu Li eight years in a state correctional facility. So I got to thinking, why not do it again? We both love the same things. Money and destroying people who get in our way. Together we'll outmaneuver them all. Boston will be ours for the taking. Let them play checkers. We'll play chess. Eddie Winter, signing off. Thank goodness. Oh my god. That was really, really, really annoying that I thought it was on the desk. Instead, it was in a completely different desk. That's amazing. I feel amazing. I feel like I just did that justice. Um, Can I have that Nuka-Cola, please? Okay. I guess the answer to that is no. Thanks. Um, all right. So now we need to go to Andrew's station. I don't think we need to talk to Nick right now. So let's turn off our light and find Andrew's. Oh, let's level up too. Jesus. Um, one more level of rifleman or armorer. We've got two level up, so I don't feel bad about doing armor. Oh. And bloody mess. I'll do gun nut next time. Um, okay. So we need to go to Andrew's... Is it not marked? Do I need to talk to Nick? Nick? Uh, Nick? Hello? Nick? Where are you? Let's just run this way a little bit and see if you follow me. Come on, Nick. Nick, Nick. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I'm a little confused. Yes, it does say talk to Nick. Where... Where is Nick? I just realized I didn't have that tagged either, so... Son of a bitch, Nick. Do you are you having are you having trouble? Is this oh good grief? Hey. Go ahead. So you got something for me? Maybe a pocket full of tapes belonging to an old ghoul? Yep. Finally got them all. Here. No fooling. Nope. Wow. That's some real solid detective work. I know I win. They're older than dirt, but they've got Eddie's paw prints all over them. These are the real deal. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the old processor. Got it. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight, four, zero, six. That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Winter. Sounds good. And Nick leaves our service. Um, he is actually not our companion at this point. Uh, Andrew's station is... We've already found it. Let's just get right on down there. F 
finally, we will finish Nick's affinity quest. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to do every companion's affinity quest because um, it takes a rather long time to do. And I don't know if I have the time to do it, but we'll, we'll see. I definitely want McCready's perk, though. Oh, and we need to go pick up Palin to dance. I want his perk also. Turn that off. As I recall, there's somebody literally right above us. Which... Ah. Just open that gate up. Ah, legendary. Hold on. Where'd you go? Only a fucking coward hides. It's true. Only, only a coward hides. Snipers don't hide at all. Nope. Nobody's here. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. All right. Sniped all those guys off. There are people upstairs. Also, I don't know if we necessarily need to do anything about them. Bathroom. Bathroom. Ooh, with mirrors. With nothing in them. Damn it. I'll just take that. Cunning leather, leather. Well, that gets not taken. Are you? Okay. I'm not even gonna ask. We're just gonna um, get whatever we can out of here. That bitch go? How do you know it's a girl that's sniping at you? I haven't been seen. Never quite understood that. Oh, come on now. Nice. There we go. All right. Don't need to use the terminal. I think that's just for... Um... And there goes the Brotherhood just exploding away there. Let's take out these guys and see if we... I, I need to see if I can get another Brotherhood uniform off of somebody. You know, for my... Uh... Oh, hello. Ah, damn it, you saw me. Will you? Will you give me that one? Will you give me that one too? Chameleon, that, um, yeah. Harder to detect while you're sneaking and not moving. Okay, I think Chameleon is the one that has the, um, legendary effect that screws up your pit boy when you go into sneak, so. Yeah, disappearing. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I wasn't running right up to you. All right. Where is... Where'd that Brotherhood of Helicopter land? Oh, over there. Okay, it's not worth it because it's too far away. Let's just get our butts into the Andrew Station. Is there anything up here while I'm thinking about it? No. All right. All right, Nick, let's go. Revenge! Revenge! Huh, amazing. Okay. Not keep Eddie waiting. I mean, I'll try not to keep Eddie waiting. That's fine. Ooh, ooh! There's a dog there. What the? How about you have that? Yeah. 
How about you have another one? How about I shoot your dog? Sorry, puppy. No whines. Oh, come on. Don't go behind that post. Man, come ah, son of a bitch. Stop it. Something out. Ah. Oops, did not mean to do that. I was thinking I was going to have a longer No, bad. Ooh, muffled, eh? Oh, hi! All right. Yeah, I mean, I kind of wish I had my power armor with me, but at the same time, like, I really don't like using power armor. I prefer to find the best regular armor that I can. Anything good in here? Just a bathroom? We all are downstairs. You're not even coming up here to find out where I went, so... Hi, Nick. Ooh, a rapid assault rifle? Perfect. Hmm, what's... Well, it's an automatic, and we haven't specced into automatics. So I really... Nick, don't run into all the can chimes. Come on. Oh, I just ran into a can chime. Come here. Thank you. Um... No. Also? No. Also, did I see something over th there? I could have sworn yes. Thank you. Locked terminal here. I don't think that's gonna have anything we need. Let's just check. Let's just check. <sighs> yes, give me some clues. Damn. Um God ha yeah spotlight control okay Yep Valentine still likes things even though he's not a companion he's just near you therefore he must comment on everything Go Nick Let's see got a little hidey hole back here with some buff out Alt tech lunchbox with some chalk in it. Ooh, missiles, thanks. Anything else? No. Oh, hello. There we go. Mm. Let's see if there's anything good back here that we might want. Uh, besides a broken lock pick. Okay, not that direction. Oh, come on now. Yes. Oh. Well, there kind of is something back here. Some stim packs. Don't need a stealth boy, but I'll take your bobby pins and your cap stash. Thank you. Ooh. Hang on, Nick. Don't run too far ahead of me. Um... There's a safe back here I want to look at. Expert, eh? Mm. 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 Oh. Ah! So much concentration going on here. Yes. Um... Not much in there that I want, but I can sell the jet. 
I'm coming, Nick. I'm coming, I promise I'm coming. Ooh. Donut mix? <gasps> oh shit, Nick, thanks. What the? Will you get out of my way, Nick? I have much better chance of just killing it than you apparently do. All right. Disappearing act, huh? Yep. I do that. I, I do the disappearing act. I do enjoy that. Nothing over here except for a door we could have gone through. Uh, oh, I know where we are. Okay. Um, let's just lob one of those over there. Yeah, d did I see you with a missile launcher? Because you needed to be blown up, like, immediately. Alright, um... Vault Tech lunchbox, place to sleep. And an explosive crate, okay. Oh, come on now. Got it. I'll take those. All right, bodies should have been flung all over the place over here. Not much on them, though, except for ammo. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're off the tracks. Weird. Okay. I thought I saw something. But apparently it was just the red light shining through my arms. Ah. Ooh. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, somebody's little sleepy spot. Apparently they need a little bit of jet. And then... We should be getting really close to Eddie Winter at this point. Oh, it's the fighting ring. Ah, yes. Let's come on up over here. Up top. I don't think there's anybody that's running around up here. Yeah, no. There's a little boxing ring for his little boxing matches, which is kind of cool. Cigars, sweet rolls, ah, caps, and a cap stash. And that looks like that's it for that. And then, yes, Eddie Winter is right over there. Uh, right over here. All right, Nick. One, nine, five. Three seven two eight four zero six. The fuck? Hi! Where's Nick? Fuck are you? There he is. Yeah, just passing through. It's all right. I'm just passing through. Passing through? A secure underground bunker? Yes. How the fuck did you get? No. No way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code. In the hollow tapes? <laughs> well, hey, it's only been what? 200 years? <laughs> well, look, I'm not sure what you thought you'd find. Gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. But you get me, one guy, a ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. That code? It was a joke. I just wanted to prove how dumb those feds were. Turns out, pretty dumb. So take your asses someplace else. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere until I get what I get. There he is. Yeah? And what's that? And who are you, huh? 
You look kind of familiar. But what are you, some kind of robot? Is that what it's like out there now? A world of robot overlords? I knew it. The name's Valentine. Nick Valentine. Remember me? Valentine? The cop? Is that who you're supposed to be? Sorry, pal, but you ain't Nick Valentine. You're just some kind of, uh, machine. You killed my fiance, Jennifer Lance. There's some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiance? You mean Valentine's fiance. Pretty girl. A shame what happened to her. But hey, you? Or, you know, the real Valentine? He should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? Why do you even care? Some girl gets whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not even alive. Then I guess I'm in good company. Welcome to your life. <laughs> no, shit. There he is. Let's just take a moment to, uh... There's one more thing I've got to do. I wouldn't mind the company if you wanted to tag along. Sure. In just a minute, because there is no way I am going to leave this place unransacked. Now, he takes off. And we will follow him in just a minute. I just want to make sure that I have ransacked everything I want. Like, here's this tape to Claire, which we will listen to in just a minute. Ah, and another cap stash. And he also has, ooh, an expert lock terminal. An expert lock terminal. So let's see if I can't get into this real quick. Two. None. Haha! -ha! And open up that safe. Beautiful. <clears throat> we're gonna take those and then we're gonna put on the, the two Claire message here. Oh. And follow Nick. Claire. down but there's a reason what we talked about it's happening soon bombs missiles i don't know what but the end is coming i can't even tell you how much i paid my cloak and dagger friend for this info so i guess me building that shelter was a smart idea after all huh one. but look baby you. there is uh, one more thing the reason I haven't been around for a while. You know those idiot brothers that wicked shipping? The ones smuggling the radioactive material? I put the screws to them. Got some of the stuff. I've been working with this doctor in East Boston. The guy's a fucking genius. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but he had this theory. The right kind of radiation exposure at the right amounts? It can change human cells. Mutate them. Baby, I can live forever. Yeah, I know. It could kill me. I'm willing to chance it, but I can't risk losing you. So I'm the guinea pig. And I've been getting treatments. But don't worry. I'm fine. More than fine. I feel great. Amazing, even. I think this crazy shit's really working. Eventually, this war will blow over. When it does, I'm going to walk out to Boston and pick up where I left off. I'm going to own the future. I'm assuming you'll be dead by then, of course. But let's not dwell on the negative. Ugh. So look, you come to the sub shop tomorrow night. You and I will go into the shelter together. Sail it up and wait for the big kaboom. Just, uh, you might want to prepare yourself a little. Mentally and such, I look a little different now. But love is only skin deep, right? So there is his story about what he did to stay alive. 
All right, let's go see what Nick wants to tell us. And we come out of this uh, Joe Spuckies. All right, Nick, I'm coming. This is it. In this spot, 200 years ago, one of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Land's back. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny. And Nick. I. I'm at a loss. All I know is that. Without you, Eddie'd still be at large. Well, I mean, I'm glad to help. I'm glad I could help. It seems like it meant a lot to you. You don't know the half of it. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last proof outside of some long lost institute archive I was ever just a mechanical copy of some cop from a bygone era. I'm not sure how to feel. Well, I mean, yeah, I always go with this one. He's finally free. Don't you see, Nick? You're finally free. There is no other Nick anymore. Just you. No, I wish it was that easy. But it's not. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. And I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neuro trans whatever and the next thing i know i'm in a trash heap my family my home my entire life gone then i discover all those things that they weren't even mine everything i ever was belonged to nick and i'd hoped with winter gone the last hint of that old world snuffed out i could i could finally be free but being out here with you what i what i finally realized after all this time was that taking down winter it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right. And that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. You don't have to, Nick. We're friends. This is what friends do. <laughs> you can't stop being noble now. Nope, I'm just full of it. Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. All right. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Nick, you have gained the close to metal perk. Still interested in traveling together. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted some time on your own after all this. You know what? We're going to travel together because I'm just going to take you right back to Sanctuary. Come on. Let's get out of here. Let's do. And that is the story of Nick Valentine. The person who was supposed to help me, but I ended up helping him. All right. We're going to leave it there. You have been watching Mom Plays. You can follow me on Twitter at Tonya Trees or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Tonya T. Please check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description below. And I will catch you all next time. Goodbye.